now this is the case 2 case 2 means what here also we have the non inverting operational amplifier uh the previous one was inverting operational amplifier so here we are applying the input to this negative input terminal here negative input terminal so what is happening here here the circuit is the same can you observe the difference between the previous circuit and this circuit so here everything else is the same here we instead of grounding this one we are applying the input to this positive terminal instead of applying the v1 here we are grounding this terminal that is the only difference now what's happening next so now we have to derive the expression for v in and v out so v in and v out, v out means what that is the gain actually v out divided by v in that is a gain so once you find v out and v in and then you can easily find this a using this formula so v out by v in is equal to a that is the gain of the operational amplifier so we also call this as a transfer function okay so now we will do the uh, mathematical expression or deriving the expression by using ohm's law and kirchhoff law uh, okay the same circuit i just uh, redraw a little bit what i did the same the minus and plus i just exchanged here so or interchanged so here the positive the positive we are applying the input the negative we are just doing the feedback so the this is the input resistor now it's grounded here the same here and then the rf is the feedback resistor you can use this circuit or you can use this circuit both are the same actually exactly the same i just arranged in a way to uh, make it simple for the equation uh, derivation so now we should know uh the voltage at this potential point at this node this is the vx right vx is the node this is the meeting point of feedback resistor and the input resistor so at this node now the potential is not zero why okay we will see that now so if we apply the voltage divider rule then what is the, uh, we can calculate or we can compute the voltage at this node so vx is equal to r1 divided by here r1 divided by r1 plus rf times v out so that is how we have to calculate the voltage potential at this point so the voltage potential at this point is calculated by using this formula here so in near inverting input terminal this is the near inverting input terminal at this point the voltage will be equal to vx the vx we already found by using this formula this is the formula so now whenever we use operational amplifier in the negative feedback configuration remember negative feedback means what we are just taking part of the output and then feeding back to this negative input terminal so whenever we use op amp in the negative feedback configuration we must consider because we are not connecting these two terminals but virtually they are short circuited so it means whatever the voltage appear in one uh, terminal it will appear in the other terminal so okay this is what i mentioned here so now we have to use these concepts to derive the equation for uh, gain so vx is equal to v in so why i wanted to talk this much because i wanted to say vx is equal to v in why we are saying this vx is equal to v in because based on the virtual short concept the virtual ground means one terminal is grounded then other terminal is also considered as grounded here the basically it's virtually short circuited these two terminals so this is what we are saying so we can easily say here vx is equal to v in so it means what vx can also appear in this terminal okay so now it means v in is equal to vx vx we already know r1 divided by r1 plus rf multiplied by v out so now we just take this v in to this side so v v out divided by v in is equal to we just bring this to this left side r1 plus rf divided by r1 so if you rearrange this equation 
this is the equation number one maybe so we rearrange this equation then what will happen r1 by r1 that is one and r plus rf by r1 okay so this is the formula for we have to buy v in for this configuration so we have to buy v in what is that that is the gain so a is equal to one plus rf by r1 so remember the previous circuit whatever the uh, the here the formula is minus rf by r1 that is the gain formula for this inverting op amp configuration but non inverting or uh, non inverting op amp configuration what is the formula a is equal to 1 plus rf divided by r1 this is what we derived just before so here this is the formula we have derived so this is the gain formula for this non inverting operational amplifier we call this as a non inverting because we are applying input to this non inverting input terminal and we have also feedback negative feedback okay so now we will apply some numbers so then it will clear your mind little more better uh, so here i apply the same values so i apply rf feedback resistor as a 2 kilo ohm 2 kilo ohm and I apply this R1 input resistor as a one kilo ohm. One kilo ohm. So what is happening now? A is equal to one plus RF by R1. That is the formula we derived. So now I apply these values here. Two divided by one, that is two. And two plus one is three. So now I have A. So now what is the formula for the output? A times V in, right? So A is the gain, V in is the input voltage. So now let us assume I apply the input voltage as just only one volt. So one volt multiplied by the gain, that is the gain is the three here. So I get three volt at the output. Remember here, there is no minus, here is the positive. So it means whatever the voltage I apply, there is no phase difference. So I apply one volt here, output I get three volt. So here may be three volt plus three volt, I get the three volt, but there is no phase difference. So don't ask me here why the, the signal is coming here the other side, because this is a sinusoidal signal. Uh, sinusoidal is a AC voltage, right? AC signal. If it's a DC, then it's going to be only in the positive side. Okay, so this is how we can calculate the gain. And we are just amplifying what the small voltage into the uh, larger voltage at the output. So again, the same uh, method we will do. Uh, I can change this RF value and R1 value, and I can change this A value. So now again, I can make this as a four kilo ohms, and then I can make this as a one kilo ohm, uh, or maybe I can also make this as a two kilo ohm, or maybe I can make this as a, instead of four, I can make eight or whatever uh, the values are available in the lab. So then I can uh, in, uh, replace with this uh, instead of two, I am going to replace with the four kilo ohm resistor here in the feedback and the input I'm going to uh, maybe keep the same or something else. I calculate the gain value in the paper and I calculate the V out value in the paper. In the lab, you can do that in the practical way. So you can use the oscilloscope and then you can measure at the input voltage. You know that what voltage you are applying so you can uh, adjust the knob and see one volt two volt three volt you can apply whatever the voltage you want to apply as a v in and at the output you can check in the oscilloscope so with respect to the ground so what do you observe the oscilloscope so you can see do you really amplify and you get the three volt or not this is just for one example so by this way just by controlling the value of RF and R1, you can control the gain of this operational amplifier. By controlling the gain, you can control the output voltage. So based on your circuit need or application, so you are going to design the circuit.